Welcome back guys. Today we are chatting about something really fun that Connor and I did last weekend. I thought it would be just a fun idea to share with you guys. One of mine and Connor's favorite things is to go out and enjoy a meal together. We love doing it. We do it every single weekend typically. It's actually been a really weird change not being able to go out and do that. And so this past weekend we decided that we wanted to treat ourselves a little bit and do a little at home romantic date night. The whole thing, getting dressed up, ordering in like appetizers and your meal starting with white wine and new with red like the same way that we would actually eating out and I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys today so first up obviously we had to order the food that we wanted we ordered from one of our favorite date night restaurants macaroni Republic highly highly recommend anyone in LA try this restaurant and ordering in actually was equally as good as it is eating there honestly like everything really held up everything stayed really warm by the time it was delivered so we were really happy with that and we decided to order what we would typically order if we were eating out, which tends to be like two appetizers and then a meal each. And I'll share what we chose a little later in this video. So once we had our food all picked out and we knew that it was on its way, it was time to get ready because we decided that we wanted to dress up and look really cute for each other, just like we were actually going out for a fancy dinner. And it's funny because Macaroni Republic is actually a really chill restaurant. We would never dress up this much to go there, but for our at-home date night, it had to happen. I am just about to start getting ready here i'm going to start with my hair and actually i'm using this let me tell you the exact name of this t3 micro twirl trio curling iron for the first time so we're gonna see how it goes trying a new look connor's playing little date night music out there it's very cute so basically what I'm doing here guys is clamping the hair and then pulling down to the bottom and then we're rolling up and holding here for just a second and then sort of unrolling it and then unrolling it and then like pulling straight down and flipping back. And we're gonna see what this all looks like. Okay, I think I could use a little bit more practice with it but I'm feeling satisfied with that and ready to move on. Okay, I feel pretty good about that, all in all. That's looking pretty cute. And now we are going to move on to our makeup. I am a little limited with the makeup that I have here. I have a lot of my favorite stuff, but not all. And certainly not a lot of stuff to do, like a ton of different looks with, but that's okay. I think we're just gonna do like a brown smoky eye. So just in my base, just the same way that I always do it. And now we're going to do our eyes. Okay, let's start with maybe this light brown here. And just go all over the eyelid and up into the crease. You can get what you want. Then I think we're gonna take like this more chocolatey brown and put that over the outer half of my eye here. Then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this really dark brown and plop that right on this outside area, really pulling it up into the crease. And then I'm also just going to take that along my lower lash line, give a little bit of a smoky feel going. I have this brown eyeliner with me, but it's really not sharpened, so I don't really know. What it has to give me but i'm gonna try okay and then this is when i like to use my setting spray before mascara goes on last thing that i like to do is just brush my teeth we are done getting ready here i'm going to go get dressed now and then i'll show you guys my outfit and voila we are changed <laughs> and um i'm gonna put some jewelry on now i'm just gonna put these gold hoops in and then this little choker here and i'm feeling pretty good about where we're at connor unfortunately doesn't have a full length mirror in his home so i'm gonna try to figure out how to show you my full outfit um, and i never wear heels on date night because i'm like oh it's gonna end up hurting my feet halfway through it's not gonna be fun but at home one i can take them off whenever i want and two there won't be a lot of walking because i'm already home so i feel like they will be more comfy. Okay, I feel like you guys can get a bit of a vibe 
here. So I'm wearing these really cute tan wide leg pants from Privacy Please. And then I can't remember where I got this one sleeve top. It's been a while, but I'm gonna try to track it down for you. And then the heels they just saw me put on. And uh, yeah. Here we are, date night at home. <laughs> so I actually put on makeup, did my hair, got dressed, Connor put on a really cute suit, and we were ready to enjoy our meal. By the time I was done getting ready, Connor had already started setting up. We basically threw an old sheet over the table for our tablecloth. We put the chairs that we had near there and then lit a ton of candles, turned off all the lights, that way it'd be really romantic and just feel like a real date night. And it ended up being perfect timing because right when we we were done getting ready and setting everything up. Our food arrived. Yum, I can't wait for this. This is so exciting. We're just lighting a bunch more candles to sort of scatter randomly around here. We like to treat ourselves. Exactly, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so of course with our appetizers, we had our white wine and our apps were seriously so delicious. All right, we're starting with some of our favorite wine. It's the Chateau Saint Michel. Riesling and it is incredible. This may or may not be our second bottle of it today. <laughs> Yum. Okay, for our appetizers, we have a burrata over here and this is a panzanella bruschetta, which is so insane. It's one of my favorite things on the menu there. And then of course, some bread to enjoy it with. Update, panzanella is just as good as I remembered. It is blowing my mind right now. So we enjoyed those, ate them really slow, the way that we eat at a restaurant before we moved on to dinner. With dinner, we switched to our red wine and enjoyed our amazing pasta dishes. They were so good. Connor was super sweet, kept like getting up and pouring more wine in my glass. Okay, time for dinner. Connor got this amazing pasta dish that has burrata melted into it. It's literally so insane. It's unbelievable. And then I got this. It's actually like the grandma's meat sauce recipe on the menu. And you guys know me, I don't eat a lot of meat. So the fact that this is what I order every single time. Tells you how good it is. Tells you how good it is. Cause it, it's, I mean, it's insane. It's one of the best meat sauces that I have ever had. Hello, beautiful, beautiful pasta. Mm -hmm. I am so excited mm -hmm. for these. It's gonna be delicious. What a great day night so far, baby. So true, cheers. I love you. <laughs> and we honestly had such a good time. It's sort of funny because usually we have a ton to talk about when we go out to dinner. We're living separate lives and you know come together and sort of share a ton of stuff that we've been waiting to tell each other in person. But now we are together all of the time because of quarantine. So I was sort of like, I don't even know what we're gonna have to talk about. But we still managed to make conversation literally the whole time. There was actually a ton to discuss and it was just really nice. Pretty much every night of quarantine, we've sat down on the couch to have dinner and put something on the television. And it was just a really nice change to sit down across from each other, no electronics, and actually enjoy each other's company, have like deeper conversations with each other, and enjoy a really, really delicious meal. So dinner was absolutely fantastic, and we didn't stop there. So typically, when we go out to a nice meal, we also like to go out to a bar afterwards. And one of our favorite kinds of bars to go to is game bars, because it's really fun, you can like play a game together, duh. So we decided that we were going to do our own at-home game I almost said gay bar. <laughs> so we decided that we were gonna do our own at home game bar. So we switched the music up to be like a little bit more fun and then brought out some of the games that we have. Okay, we're now moving to our game bar. Obviously it looks a lot like the restaurant that we just ate at, but what a coincidence, right? And first up is Battle Shots, which is a game that I made for my birthday this year. There it is, and it works just the same as Battleship. This very DIY board here was made by me, and then you just use a piece of paper to keep track of where you guessed on the other pe person's board. Connor got a dominant win. Yeah, it was a good it's a good victory. I'll finish my drinks off. I like it, yeah. I appreciate that. So we played battle shots and we also played drunk Jenga. Dog or person, who knows? They were very excited about the drunk Jenga, clearly. <laughs> so we did that for a couple of hours and then honestly we ended up just hanging out on the couch and listening to music and just like singing and uh, I pretended like I was at a karaoke bar. <laughs> 
and we just sort of like hung out and had a really nice time, which was great. Seriously, guys, this was such a nice, refreshing time. It's something that we definitely plan on doing more. We won't always like dress up and like do the whole thing, but we were like, we do need to make a bigger effort while we're home here at actually sitting down at a table together and having conversations because it felt really good and it honestly felt like a little taste of normalcy. We were sort of talking about it the next day and came to the conclusion together that not only was it our favorite night of quarantine so far, like duh, but also it was just a great night in general. Whether we were stuck at home or not, that's a night that I think we both just felt was really, really fun despite our circumstances. And honestly, sort of like a nice little escape from it. It was a night where we weren't just like thinking about quarantine or talking about it or what's gonna happen and things like that. Instead, we were just really focused on us and our relationship and spending some quality time together. And honestly, even if you don't wanna do a whole big romantic thing, even if you are still sitting on the couch, just talking to each other and not having the TV on, I think is really nice. And there you have it. That was our at-home date night. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit more about it. And if you decide to do an at-home date night, please let me know, follow me on my socials and send me photos because I would love to see what you guys do. And that's it, so let's do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'll see you in my next one.